Manandal. Some of we are the subject name is Kambala and Design. In this subject, we are going to give a brief overview of um, the definitions and terminology about the compilation point, compiler space. So, this first introduction to compilers, some of the concepts which are going to be discussed. So, previously we have taken that is what is the uh, regular expression with that one. Now, we are defined pass. That means here we are going to traverse various phases of the uh, compiler phases, one by one each phase. So, in this, uh, the traversal of a compiler through the entire program, it is known as pass. That means one time uh, we are going to perform that is each of the six phases of the compiler set for first pass. That is called as first pass. Pass one. So, here there are two passes, one pass compiler, multi pass compiler. Let us see by what is meant by one pass compiler and multi pass compiler. The one pass compiler means here it is also a compiler pass through the parts of the um, each compilation unit only once and uh, immediately translating each part into its uh, final machine code. Whereas multi pass compiler it converts the program into one or more intermediate uh, representations in steps between source code and machine code, which reprocess the entire compilation into, into sequential passes. That means uh, some of the phases would be represented as a first pass and the remaining uh, phases which can be introduced as the second pass like that, the phases are to be distributed in this one. What is meant by synthesis phase? Here synthesis phase is nothing but uh, uh, we, are, we are going to divide this uh, phases into a two phases. One is analysis phase, another one is synthesis phase. See in the analysis phase, the first two four parts and the first two four phases of the compilation are called as analysis phase and the synthesis phase are nothing but a second, uh, that is the remaining two phases are called as synthesis phase. So, it gen that means here in this uh, synthesis phase, we are going to generate a target program that is called as a machine program with the help of intermediate source code representation and symbol table. So, what is the synthesis phase here? Code optimization and then code generation. So, these are the two phases which are. So, what is the what is the input that is to be processed here? The synthesis phase is intermediate code phase is the in, in intermediate code generation phase is the input phase of input to this this one and output is the final phase that is described is called as target program. Define next one is define regular expression for the strings which consists of either either two consecutive zeros or two consecutive ones. Here 0, 0 is to be considered as one representation that is it is a consecutive 0. 1, 1 means it is also one description. So, we are going to define this expression type consists of both 0, 0, 1, 1. So, that is why here 0 plus 0, 0 followed by 0, this is consecutive 0 and 1, 1 followed by 1, followed by 1, this is, this is a string river. that means either 0, 0 or 1, 1. But before 0, before 0, 0, it, it, it does not say that regular expression does not start with. So, it must contain consecutive, so it may start with either 0 or 1. So, that is why 0 or 1 to be placed at the beginning and also it does not say that uh, the string and master should end with uh, either 0 or 1. So, it may, con it may end up with 0, 1 also. So, that is why here the consecutive 0 supplied before that it may start either 0 or 1. Here also consecutive, so 0, 0 with uh, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. So, like this, this expression can be some of the concepts which are to be described in this one is parser, what is meant by a parser and uh, what are the different types of parsers, what is bottom up parsing, top down parsing, that is the second uh, phase of the compilation that is uh, passing mechanism to be implemented. A parser generally takes the input with the sequence of tokens and produces the output and that is uh, first phase that is the lexicalized individual tokens are to be divided in the second phase of the compilation accepting the tokens and generate a 
parsing mechanism. So previous video says that is the parsing mechanism we are taking place. Tokens are released by the lexical analyzer. So that uh, phase lexical analyzer given as input to this second phase of the second syntax analyzer phase, and this is to be produced as parsing representatives. So in this parsing, there are several parsers are there. What are the different types of parsing that is to be available? So here the first one is top-down parsing methods, and second one is bottom-up parsing. So what is meant by top down and what is meant by bottom up parsing? In top down parsing, the parse tree uses first the input string that is starts from the starting root node and then uh, create individual nodes and uh, go to the further levels of the parse tree in the pre-order notation. That means it follows the leftmost derivation for the processing the input string. Whereas in case of bottom up parsing method, it starts from the with the input symbol that is uh, um, up to the start, that means from the lowest level to the start symbol and tracing out the with the rightmost derivation of the string in the reverse. Rightmost derivation in the reverse should be applied in case of us. So some of the tasks which are performed by the parser are, first one it uh, detects all types of syntax errors. That means we know that uh, the phase, each phase uh, for the comparison point, all the phases have Processed with the corresponding error mechanism also. So it, it, it aligned with that one. So anytime any detection of syntax errors, so it is to be easily recognized. And also another important one is position at which the error has to be error has occurred. Third one is clear and accurate description of the error, where the error is located, that is the clear description, that means there may be line number position and uh, another one is fourth one that is recovery from that error to continue and further errors further errors in the code fifth one is the parser must reject invalid text by reporting syntax errors any invalid errors are also it can be rejected so first it detects uh, all types and then uh, it uh, position also and where the exact location that is clear accurate description uh, that means whether it is um, syntax, the full description of that error, and then it uh, process to the next position, next to further uh, line of statements. What are the some common errors that is to be occur in the parser? The common errors that are occur in the parsing methods are lexical, that is, here in this case, lexical colon that indicates that name incorrectly typed identifier and another one is syntactical syntactical means unbalanced balances are missed semicolon the third one is semantical semantical in, in the sense incompatible value assignment incompatible value assignment d is logical that means infinite loop and not reachable code that means the several uh, lines of code that is to be placed inside a while loop and the condition doesn't exit. That means the two cases are infinitely, it is repeating and does not control, does not come outside of the loop. So the such cases, this, uh, uh, that, uh, that are the different types of errors that is to be uh, commonly occurred in the parser. What is meant by handle? Another term, handle. Handle is nothing but uh, it is a string uh, that means handle of a string is a substring uh, that matches the right side of the production and whose reduction to the non-terminal on the left hand side of the production represents one step along the reverse of a rightmost derivation. So generally when we process the string, we are going to substitute several productions for the corresponding string which matches. So here in this case, any reduction is to be available, general suppliers, and based on that, we are going to use that one. So that non-terminal is to be replaced on the uh, left-hand side of the production with this one step to the right side of the rightmost derivation. What is handle pruning? So previously we detect that uh, that handle is, uh, that means that derivation is suitable to replace that one. But uh, the substitution is required with the method of handle pruning. Suppose if A derives beta, if A derives beta is a production, then beta derives to A. 
that means here um, uh, the then a dash beta is b is production is then reducing to beta dash to a then the given production is called as hand in pulling that means removing children of a from the past tree rightmost derivation in the reverse uh, can be done with the help of this hand in pulling concept only previously i have used the out uh, use the term rightmost derivation in the reverse that is bottom of parsing so by applying this handle pruning concept we can get rid of that uh, uh, parsing technique then uh, one of the important type of the parser is shift reduce parser so here shift reduce parser means it is a bottom of parsing that means here it reduces a string to the start symbol of the given grammar initially it scans and parses the input text one forward pass without backward tracking back track what are the different actions of a shift reduce parser a shift reduce parser it have which has four possible actions one is shift action another one is reduce another one is accept another one is red uh, error shift either shift reduce accept or error so these are the that means whenever the whenever the terminal which has the substitution with the corresponding can be replaced with that uh, production so that uh, not to derive the suitable string so we are going to use either uh, reduce or shift up so at that time we can say it is accept says or error what are the conflicts that arises in case of shift reduce parser there are generally two conflicts are to be arise in shift way. one is shift reduce another one is reduce reduce conflict these are the main two conflicts arises in shift reduce parser then what is shift in case of shift reduce parser uh, that is the input of the pointer advances to the next input symbol uh, for this shift and the next step the next input symbol is known as shifted symbol and the symbol is pushed up on the stack the shifted symbol is considered as a single node of the parse tree so each time when the symbol is processed we are going to place one uh, symbol after that uh, operator is assumed then we are going to pop up the two um, operands with the corresponding symbol and perform the operation so with that we are going to reduce the this operation with the corresponding words. next what is lr parser lr parser is nothing but it is a non recursive non recursive and uh, shift reduce bottom up parser non recursive shift reduce bottom up parser now it uses a wide class of context free grammar which makes it most efficient syntax analysis technique most syntax analysis technique what is meant by lr of k parser lr parsers it is also known as lr of k parser where l stands for left to right scanning and r stands for rightmost derivation in reverse and k here the parenthesis k denotes how many number of decay head symbols are to be used to make the decisions so lr of k the parser indicates that leftmost derivation Uh, left, uh, that means the L stands for left to right, and rightmost derivation in a reverse so that is R, and K indicates that several number of character that is how many number of look ahead symbols that are to be used to make the decisions. And what are the different types of LR parsers? We know that LR zero is one parsing, simple LR that is SLR parsing, CLR canonical LR parsing, and look ahead uh, LR that is LLR parsing. These are the um two four different types of parsing techniques and uh, what is an lr algorithm what is meant by an lr algorithm here lr left lr algorithm means it requires stack input output and parsing table it requires stack input output parsing table 
in these types of all parsing techniques input output tag are same but parsing tables are different in case of lr for lr algorithms tag input output and parsing table they are types now what is input buffer an input buffer is used to indicate that uh, the end of the input and it contains a parser followed by a dollar symbol what is parsing table parsing table is a two dimensional array it contains two parts one is action part and the one is go to part what is meant by augmented grammar an augmented grammar g is nothing but we are going to add productions in the given grammar and identify that uh, acceptance of the given input so in this example we are going to perform this productions and whether the, the starting production with this first one is added to this product given grammar slr parser it is a simple lr parser where uh, simple and fast construction technique where fewer number of states are available what is lr1 parsers lr parser means it works on complete set of lr1 grammar and generates large table large number of states with slow construction so we'll come up with one more new topic like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates